Well, good damn afternoon, Americans. Jericho Green here with you once again. And yes, of course, this is 100% viewer funded. There's no me. If there's no you, we need each other. There's no plan B. There's no going back. There's no backup parachute. This is what I do. And I can't do it without you. Please reach all the way up inside your generosity to the elbow and pull something out for me. It is greatly appreciated. And the links will be in the description box. And this has to be one of the biggest steaming road apples I've ever heard in my fucking life. So this woman named Cassidy Hutchinson, and the name kind of sounded familiar. And then I saw her picture and I was like, wait a minute. Where have I seen this idiot's face before? Why do I recognize this dummy? She is the one who was testifying under oath. That means you're supposed to tell the truth during the January 6th inquiries. Or she, <laughs> that farce. Um, she was testifying in front of the January 6th committee with uh, Liz Cheney and what's his name? Benny Thompson or some shit from Mississippi. It was a collection of jackasses. And she was the one who stated she she's a, she's testifying as a witness, but she's te she's saying things that she wasn't present for. These are things that she heard from somebody else. So I'm wondering, why didn't you get that person who was there? But they picked this woman. She's the one who said that Trump said, I'm the president. I'm the fucking president. You take me back to the Capitol and the driver and the Secret Service said, no, sir, we can't do that. And so he grabbed the driver, and then he grabbed the other Secret Service agents. He said that he grabbed them around his clavicles. So Donald Trump, not only was he the president of the United States, but apparently he was a fucking superhero. And he's holding these two Secret Service agents back by their clavicles, saying that you better take me back to the Capitol. And then she proceeds to get down from the witness stand and go and give Liz Cheney a hug who is one of the committee members, almost like a judge. Imagine a witness in a, in a criminal case in a courthouse, in a courtroom, getting down from the witness stand and then the judge said, oh, come here and giving him a hug. What? Isn't the judge supposed to be impatient? No, that's not it. Oh yeah, impartial. So this idiot has now come out and said that on J6, or as Sloppy Joe says, on July 6th, Rudy Giuliani groped her backstage. Get the fuck out of here. What? So, Rudy Giuliani is being indicted right now in Georgia for the bullshit and the, and the voting and all this. Now, they're saying that he groped this woman. I know what you're thinking. Why didn't this bitch say something before? Well, here's an excerpt from her tell-all book. Of course, former Trump aide Cassidy Hutchinson alleged in her new book that Rudy Giuliani groped her backstage during former President Trump's rally on January 6, 2021, just hours before the ride on the Capitol. So I guess Rudy Giuliani is like, oh, I'm so excited. Come here, girl. I got to feel your titties. Hutchinson accused Giuliani, who served as Trump's former personal attorney, of moving his hand, quote, under my blazer, then up, then my skirt. So under her jacket, he got some, let me, hey, girl, what you got in there? Yeah, yeah, give me that titty. And then he went under her skirt. Wow. So here is how she describes the incident. I feel his frozen fingers trail up my thigh. He tilts his chin up. The whites of his eyes look jaundiced. My eyes dart to John Eastman, who flashes a leering grin. I fight against the tension in my muscles and recoil from Rudy's grip. Filled with rage. He's filled with rage. 
I stormed through the tent on yet another quest for Mark Meadows. Mark Meadows, then Trump's chief of staff, was Hutchinson's boss at the time. The book titled Enough chronicles her experience as a close White House aide and her move to become a key witness in the House hearings surrounding Janu the January 6th insurrection. <laughs> so wait a minute. You're backstage. You're, you're a staff member. You're backstage at Trump's, right before Trump's speech in, the, in January 6th and, and all that that we know it to be. He puts his hand up your blazer, then puts his hand. She says, I feel his frozen fingers trail up my thigh. So he's going, he's headed up to the promised land. He's about to see what's up with that clam. You didn't say, fuck you, Rudy. You didn't push him. You didn't slap him. You didn't spit in his face. Kick him in his balls. All the things a man deserves if he's going to stick his hand up a woman's blazer or de or up her skirt without her permission. You would have been right in doing that and more if this happened. But instead of that, she said, filled with rage. You guys ever been filled with rage? You just, uh, uh, where's Mark? And you go and find somebody else to tell him? You don't do anything to this old man? Again, you don't slap, punch, scream, scratch, spit. You don't do nothing to him. He just grabbed your tits and your inner thigh and you did nothing. And then you sit on this information for two, almost three years. You don't tell the police. You don't file any kind of complaint or nothing. You sit on this shit for three years and put it in your tell-all book. You were so filled, you're like, oh, I'm going to save this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit on, I'm going to save this for my tell-all book. You guys, the Incredible Hulk, you ever heard of him? He gets filled with rage. Does the Hulk go, never mind. No? The Hulk... When he's filled with rage, he usually fucks some shit up, right? You remember the TV show? Bruce Banner goes to a small town. He's helping this these poor people who own a diner. And these assholes come in. Hey, where's that protection money, huh? Hey, guys, we don't need to do this. Get the fuck out of here. They slap him, throw him behind the bar. He's covered up like this. And then his head turns like that. Then his eyes are all light blue and crazy. And then you hear da -da 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 -da, the music and shit. His shirt rips and he starts kicking ass. When you're filled with rage, you don't say, ah, I'll handle it later. Rage. That word does not mean hold off. Let's think about it. Wait a minute. Rage means I'm doing something about it. I'm acting out. But no, she just, where's Mark Meadows? Get the <laughs> what? Desperation looks terrible on them. This is how desperate they are. Can you, who, who do they think is going to believe this? I'll tell you who believes this. The people who are vaxxed and boosted and wear a mask and a face shield and they wear a mask and a face shield in the car by themselves. They air hug you from seven feet away. Those jackasses. Trump really does think you could grab a woman by, a, by her pussy. Those jackasses. There was an insurrection on January 6th. Those jackasses. That's who's going to believe this. You and I, we're not falling for the banana in the tailpipe. Are you kidding me? Rudy, Rudy Giuliani, with all his power, prestige, and fame, the man who fixed New York City, grabs your titties and up your inner thigh, and you hold on for three years until your tell-all book comes out. If you believe this shit, then after this video... I'll give you my email and I got some magic beans I want to sell your stupid ass.
Meet me in the comments. You know how it goes. I try to be done with the left, but they just won't let me. Please subscribe. Hit that notification bell because every time it rings, a piece of shit lefty cries. Utilize the link tree link. Get your ass over to JerichoGreen.net. I am Jericho Green. <laughs> Man, I'm out.